Not, not. It's not the pitch, but the beach where football champions are made in Senegal. In this dry country, finding a grassy, full-size pitch is almost impossible. Skills are picked up from experience rather than formal training. Yet the African continent is a breeding ground for talent. Footballers of African origin dominate in Europe. Playing in the big European leagues is not just a dream, but an ambition. Most of us have never played on a full football pitch, but that hasn't stopped us from playing in a club and earning a living doing something we love. On the outskirts of the capital is Senegal's brand new multi-million dollar training ground, built thanks to FIFA's funding. There is even an astroturf so that players can train on a proper pitch year-round. It's so special that no one, including us, are allowed in. In a statement, the Senegalese Federation says FIFA agreed to build several other synthetic pitches and promise more investments. The announcement was made just days before the much-contested FIFA elections. Senegal sided with the incumbent president, Sepp Blatter. Decades of FIFA funding hasn't really changed the way football is being played here. And yet still for many commentators, the re-election of Sepp Blatter is seen as a victory for African football. Newspaper editorials describe the election as the West's failed attempt in overthrowing Africa's long-standing friend. Africa has 54 votes. All of them went to Sepp Blatter. Why? FIFA has given the continent a World Cup, programs to help youngsters and develop football. Blatter's re-election could mean more funds for African footballing federations. How much of it will benefit them, though, is unclear. Football continues to be played barefoot with an old ball. Here, skills, not money, sets them apart. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera, Dakar.